begin today with North Korea. Can you believe what we just saw? Yeah. Right? Did you watch this? Yeah. Just hours ago, President Trump and North Korea's Kim Jong Un shook hands. Look at that. Look at that sight of the two leaders between in front of the American flag and the North Korean flag. It's like it's kind of mind blowing, isn't it? The world watched this happen. It was in Singapore, which was the neutral meeting ground for this nuclear summit. And the two leaders spoke privately with Mr. Trump, saying he is optimistic for the negotiations ahead, saying that the pair had developed a very special bond and praising the North Korean dictator as a talented man. The pair signed a joint statement agreeing to pursue the denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. It's really, I mean, like, think about that, right? It's, it's not a guarantee, and it's not, you know, we don't know how it's going to be enforced or inspected or any of that stuff, but, hey, is it better than we were two months ago? I mean, it's tough to argue it's not. Um, afterward, Mr. Trump held his own press conference, which was only his second solo planned press conference in his presidency. It lasted about an hour, and he spoke about his meeting and his impression of Kim Jong-un. Watch. Well, thank you very much. My meeting with Chairman Kim was honest, direct, and productive. We got to know each other well in a very confined period of time under very strong, strong circumstance. We're prepared to start a new history and we're ready to write a new chapter between our nations. There's so much to unpack this morning about this and other subjects. Joining me now to do just that, Savannah Guthrie is here. <laughs> Exactly. It's the, our summit meeting. The crushing, yes. right? Like, the tr Trump you likes to leave a thumb handshake. mark. Just give me your normal I just have handshake. a normal. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah. It's, nice. it's not too crushing. Whenever it's too crushing, I always think you are communicating exactly the opposite of what you right. wish to be communicating. Or you're like, ow. Right. And I'm like, I'm so weak. It's like overcompensation, <laughs> yes, right? exactly. Yeah, and it, anyway, so did you watch this last night? I, well, you know what I watched? This morning. What were you doing at 4 a.m.? Yeah. <laughs> you were like... Sleeping. Yes, yeah, exactly. Was, Getting the view, that's why I have the bags and you don't. I watched it last <laughs> night. And I, first of all, like just the sight of the two of them was stunning. But there was nothing more compelling than Dennis Rodman on CNN with Chris Cuomo. Did anybody see Rodman? He, he got he, real teary, right? He's the Henry Kissinger of our time. <laughs> <laughs> I kind just, of perfect. Can I? Can we just let's just show a little bit of Rodman? Because you know he's I been going over there. He's like BFFs with Kim Jong Un, and here here he is talking about his role in all this. Hold on. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing when I said those things. When I said those damn things. When I went back home, I got so many death threats. I got so many death threats when I was sitting there protecting everything. And I believed in North Korea. And when I went home, I couldn't even go home. I couldn't even go home. I had to hide out for 30 days. I couldn't even go home. Unbelievable. Maybe he should get the Peace Prize. Well, <laughs> it's, a, I mean, the whole thing is just like, it's just incredible. Right. And I think, you know what, as you said, I think you made the point. It's better than threatening nuclear war right. at one another, so that's good. I think it's just the time to be cautiously optimistic. I mean, there was definitely, like, that celebratory tone this morning, and I think there's so many details to be worked out yeah. because, of course, North Korea has said this many times they, before. They've, li they've like exactly overpromised and underdelivered. Well, then lied and cheated. Many, many, I mean, many, really, many truly. So, I mean, so it's just like one of those things. You have to just hopefully, like Ronald Reagan says, trust but verify. Trust but verify. It can't, it, it feels like progress from fat little rocket boy. I just, it's not, I, that's what, remember when Trump was not, calling? No, it's rocket man. Rocket man, also then fat little rocket man. No, I don't no, know. Actually, this is funny because, so what Trump tweeted is, I won't call him fat. And then right, right. I said once on the air, and he called him fat, and everyone said, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, that, right, exactly. So I'm like, well, no, okay. Splitting hairs. So that actually sets us up for the, my second favorite soundbite from the evening, where Trump, you know, whatever you have to say about Donald Trump, you can't say he doesn't have a good sense of humor. And he's standing there with Kim Jong-un, and everybody's, you know, oh, my gosh, look at this. This is crazy. And Trump makes a comment about how they want to appear. He was tongue-in-cheek in their photos. And you got to watch this and watch Kim Jong-un's reaction. Okay, watch. Very nice. Getting a good picture of everybody, so we look nice and handsome. Thin. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> Lost in translation? <laughs> That's 
my favorite mode of the whole thing. I, he's, he's just like us. We all want to look young, thin, and beautiful, do we not? They keep joking. Yeah. It's like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> he's such an odd man. <laughs> But listen, I don't know about you. I'm not going to like sleep peacefully over North Korea, but maybe a little bit more peacefully tonight. And hope springs eternal that maybe because yeah. this guy's been, you know, popping his head up a little bit more. I think he wants acceptance. Yeah, I mean, this, it's a process, yeah. and you know, now it's devils in the details, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. Um, okay, I got to ask you about this kid out of Montana. Okay, now here's what happened. It was the playoff for the for the state championship baseball yes. and the pitcher uh is about to throw the ball and strike out he hopes the last batter from the other team but they're friends they're lifelong friends right so the pitcher's in a tough spot right if he strikes him out he goes to the national champion look what he does he struck him out and look what the pitcher does before he celebrated with his team look he's hugging the batter that he struck out I mean, that's it right there. That's yes. sportsmanship. It's so sweet. And his whole team, look, they're doing like the dog pile over there. They're so happy. Look at him. Like, hey, and he just walks them off. Like, that's love. I love. And then he goes to celebrate. His name is Ty Cohen, the pitcher. He plays for the Moundsview Mustangs. Now they're going to the state championship. But that's his buddy, Jack Kakan. Um, and he said, look, you know, it's my, he's my friend for so many years. What was I going to do? I felt bad for him, even though you joyful If you were his mom, would you not be the most proud woman in America yes. of that little boy? Oh, my God. It would be like winning. Honestly, not the strikeout, not the championship, that moment. No, how do you teach that? Yeah, you you know? can't. Yeah. Well, I hope you can. Yeah, right? We're going to just be like, here, watch this video of this little boy. Right. You do that if you're ever in that situation. Right. Mommy will love you so much. <laughs> um, okay, I have to ask you about Gwyneth Paltrow because she's got her website, Goop, yes. which has turned into this pretty successful business. And she's doing this conference every year now where they talk about everything. And Gwyneth has said some interesting things when it comes to life in the boudoir. So she had an expert named Michaela Bohm. You're just Bohm. doing this to embarrass me. Yes, no. yeah, well. And so Michaela Bohm, it could be helpful to us, is an intimacy and sex expert who has some tips for all of us on how to rekindle our love lives. Now, the first one she says is, the more difference there is between you and your partner, the more you will be attracted to each other. She said, the therapists who tell you spend more time together to, yes. get, to fire things up, you know, behind closed doors, are totally wrong. <laughs> she says, spend more time apart. And then like move out? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Like pick a fight. What, I don't know. But like you, you have to highlight your differences or spend less time together. Oh, like have a little. OK, well, right? like Mike, work late. Right. Or yeah, like go in the guest room. Yes. <laughs> How's that going to help? I don't know. I actually believe in this because I can tell you during my garden leave in between my two jobs, yes. I was seeing so much of Doug. Wait, garden leave? I've That's what I call that. it. That's, That's my garden you, leave you, in between my oh, jobs. I love that. And uh, I was seeing so much of him because I was home every day. And finally, I'm like, you need to go out. <laughs> I am seeing you. I mean, he was like, you're no picnic to spend every day with either. <laughs> it was kind of, I like, think she might I be out I do think something. absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? I think that's probably true. A little time apart is probably good. Yep. I mean, I do on Sunday nights. I'm like, so, honey, have any travel this week? You know, he's like, <laughs> Anything? He's Anything like, else? he'll say, oh, I got to go to London for three days or whatever. And, and I'll say, oh, and he'll go, don't, pretend, don't act like you're disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know you're happy. It's always a luxury when you have the, your apartment to yourself. It's kind of nice. Right? And then I'm like, do, 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 girlfriends, who wants to meet at 5 o'clock for drinks? Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> now, and the other thing she said, I have to get to this, is apparently, if you, you, she wants you to make more eye contact with your partner. And she says, your partner's left eye is more receptive. Now, that just sounds insane. You're, you're supposed to look at his... Wait. That's you, so sexy. Yes. Wait. His left eye, oh, your right eye. Wait, his... So if I'm the... I'll be the man on this one. So okay. You're supposed to look at my left eye with your right eye. Are <laughs> <laughs> you feeling any... Megan, what are you doing later? <laughs> now, what is that the dumbest thing? You're like... That's, why? I don't know, but you need to spend less time okay. with your partner, and then when you get but to you him, you have to be like... like... <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I have learned so much in this segment. We care about North you. Korea, character, and sex. <laughs> Weird eye sex. <laughs> We're covered, yeah. <laughs> Is anyone going to try that? No, no, no not no a single shown. person. Not okay. a single. All right. Shown. Great to see you. Great to see Great you. To see you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> we'll be right back. So <laughs> Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.